Nick Williams, Jen Collins, who's a local illustrator and she also works at the DCA, and Lauren Gentry, who's in third year illustration at the moment. We met through through the Central Station and Superfly poster project, which happened at the end of, I think it was the end of January. We all submitted work for the exhibition and we just got together and after chatting one afternoon we thought you know there should be more exciting things going on in Dundee to do with the things that we love, art, design, creativity. put the event together within five days because that's the amount of time that they gave us to do it. So um, Jumpers and Jamboree was born sort of by accident but it went so well we decided that we had to do another one. Yeah. We've got 35 artists, we've got quite a lot from Dundee, a few from Glasgow, we have a girl exhibit in textile work from Spain and an illustrator who sent work all the way from Chicago so we've got people from all over the world for this one so we're really excited just to have such a, an amazing selection of artists to show their work here. So what are your plans for the future then? Um, well, Big Top Jamboree wise, we've now called ourselves Dundee Jamboree and we've got a blog so dundeejamboree.blogspot is where we're going to be posting all of our updates. Jen was making a zine today so after today the zine is going to be published on the blog where you can download it and see what everyone's work was for the day. Um, I'll be blogging about the event on the Skinny website because I'm also a fashion and craft writer for the Skinny. Jen will be taking a break to do some of her own work and Lauren's going to be travelling over the summer. So I think as as a collective, as Dundee Jamboree, we're going to give ourselves at least a month off to recover from all of the preparation of this one because it's been mad and probably plan another event maybe August winter time. So get on the Christmas bandwagon, I think. <laughs>